Hey everybody, this is Chris and we're back. So let's go ahead and get started on hashing out these controllers. So I'm gonna go up here, back into our app, close this off, grab our controller here, and I'm just gonna throw this login into the home controller. I know we probably want to put it in an alt controller, but I'm just gonna throw it into the home controller. You can throw it into whatever you want to. That's where I'm going to put it. So, show welcome. Eh, we're not going to really use that function. We are going to create two uh, two get functions. The first function is going to be public function get register. So you can register. Let me bring that down to another line here. Next, we're going to have a public function. Um, hmm. Public function get login. So we can get the login page. Next, we're going to have the actual uh, functions for like post login and post register. So, public function post register and public function post login okay and we need curly braces for that so in this one we're just going to return a view so return view make and I'm just going to call it home.login. We'll just throw it on a folder called home. I think we have one. No. We'll create one though. Turn you make home login. Actually home register. Sorry. This one will return if you make uh, home login. So if you make and home login. Here we're going to go ahead and create our function for registering. Now Sentry 2 has this weird thing, they want you to use tries and catches, so that's what we're going to do. So try, create a variable, say user, equals, and then Sentry gives us this cool little uh, method called create user. So we're going to say create user, and within this function or this method we're going to go ahead and create an array. Inside this array we'll go ahead and close this off with our end line so we don't forget about it later. We're going to have some fields. Now if you go into PHP my admin and we go into our database here, it already has, this, has some fields for us to use. Now if we look at the structure, here's all the fields that we can use. Now we could put in a username, you know, just add a field for username, but I'm going to go ahead and use the first name and last name, and uh, we'll just make, get by with that. But feel free to just create another username field, and you know, set its type to varcar255 or whatever, and then continue on. But I'm going to go ahead and use the first name and last name. So we'll say first name. and then give it input get and what we're going to get is we're going to get first name and which is going to be on our form next we're going to go ahead and grab the last name the value of last name and we're going to get that from input get last name Next we're going to go ahead and grab the email, so email input get email. Next we're going to grab the password, so password and it's going to be input get password. Notice we're not hashing the password. Uh, Sentry is going to do that for us. 
and then next one we're going to say activated we're just going to go ahead and give it the boolean true so the user is already activated we're not going to go over user activation or anything in this tutorial but we will in other tutorials next we're going to throw a catch and we're just going to say catch and it's Century requires this there's a lot of talk about why but I don't get into it so I'm just going to use it Carlos Sentry users I said I just started using Sentry 2 myself so I just use what works so this exception and it's going to be E And that's just going to be this user already exists, so we're just going to echo that out. Probably shouldn't do it, but for this tutorial, it's really fine. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're done with the registration. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the login. With this one, we're going to go ahead and have a create a variable called credentials. Spell that right? Probably not. Creden yeah, credentials. Credentials equals array. And this array is going to have two values email and then password. So email, which is going to be input get email, and then the password, which is going to be password it's going to be input get and the password field the password next is uh yeah done with that we at end that okay so first we're going to try I'm going to say user equals Century authenticate. Just want to make sure I'm spelling it right. Authenticate credentials, and we're not going to remember. If we wanted it to remember our user, if we wanted to have like a checkbox or something in the form, then we could set this to whatever the checkbox is called. But I'm just going to say false, so we're not remembering the user. Next, we're going to say if user. So if the user is authenticated, we're going to say return redirect. That yeah, was right. To admin. So that's our try. Just we'll have our catch here. And then here we're just going to throw let's see uh, exception E. Now what this is going to do is in it's going to in our form, our login form, it's going to post the errors. So error messages in our login form. So to this, we're going to say return redirect gateway redirect to login say with errors and here we're going to have an array since it's going to turn an array and then it's going to be login route and then e get messages and that is that let's just go ahead and create a public function logout
So to do that, we're just going to go and say public function log out. Inside so here, it's just two lines sentry log out. And then we're going to return a re redirect. So return redirect to, and we're just going to return to the default route. So that's it. That's uh, that's pretty much the controller for Sentry 2. Actually, just this basic auth authentication. So in the next uh, tutorial, we'll just go over doing the forms, and we'll be done. I'll see you then.